Let's take a listen, Mike Florio on the Dan Patrick Show earlier today, along that very topic about the NFL getting involved. I think it's a practical matter, and maybe there was a conversation off the grid, and you know how this happens, three layers deep, and this conversation never occurred, but it could be somebody from the league office got the message to Watson's camp. Look, what you need to do is settle these cases because there's just too many of them. We can't let this guy play with this many pending legal cases. You're going to settle them eventually, settle them now. And, and I think that makes it far less likely he will be put on paid leave. Because I, I was thinking as of last week, paid leave felt like it was inevitable because there was just too much hovering over Deshaun Watson. It was last Friday when the Washington Post, Mark Maskey, said that, uh, quoting, that uh, expecting a significant punishment for Deshaun Watson. I asked a source, I said, and somebody involved in this, I said, what does significant mean to you? And he said, well, my significant is different than what the commissioner's significant is, or Deshaun Watson's camp, or the Cleveland Browns. What do you think is the punishment for Deshaun Watson? I was told a day before Maskey's report that the NFLPA is bracing for something unprecedented. And Casey, um, again, None of that sounds like it's short term when you talk about unprecedented um, and those kind of things when you throw it around. Um, the other thing is I've heard and we've had a number of people nationally say, well, he settled because he's admit, admitting guilt. I disagree with that. He's settling because it's the first step in getting past these civil suits. Yeah, it was just, it was inevitable. It was, it was, I was of the mind it was going to play off until next off season. But now that that's kind of out of the way now, like I said, there's still four additional. So we don't know which way that's going to go. But to get that first step, you know, to get it, see, if you're going to get past this, you have to get past the legal stuff. You got to get past the suspension. And then we can finally start talking about football. But we're still a little ways off. And it's, it seems like it's rapidly coming to a close. And I would expect we'll probably hear something first week of July. That, that's kind of where I'm, I'm at right now. I think we'll finally kind of get a, a, a concrete idea of where the suspension starts. Yeah, and um, again, it, it will either be next week or that following week. I, I tend to agree with you.